السلام علیکم ڈاکٹر باکرے ہی اسٹڈیڈ دا اکنامک سسٹم آف ویداس ہی سیز ہی سیز دیٹ ان ویداس دیر از آلسو سیم اکنامک سسٹم انٹرسٹ فری اکنامی اینڈ آلسو کلیمس دیٹ یو امپلیمنٹ ان انڈیا دیٹ سسٹم دا اکنامک امبیلنس وی کین میک اوور سوسائٹی اکنامیکلی بیلنس سو ایگزیکٹلی ان ویداس ایکچولی سیم سسٹم آف economic uh, is there if there is the same system as of uh, quran then can we say that writer of that veda is uh, one of the prophets of islam brother for the question for the name of dr bakar bakre that's why the correct pronunciation is hamji bokre he has said that even the veda speaks about an interest free economy Is it the same as mentioned in the Quran? And if it's the same, is the author of the Vedas one of the prophets of God? Here in the first question, is it the same? I do agree that even the Vedas do specify about an interest-free economy. Even the Quran specifies the same. How you implement it can be differ. It can differ. As long as the system you're running is an interest-free system, the way of method of running can differ. This method has been devised by various people, which They have read various historical books from the hadiths and the implementation of the various economists. Even the Vedas say it should be interest-free. As long as the economy is interest-free, inshallah, it will be sustainable. Regarding the second part of the question, that if it's the same, does it mean that the Vedas are the revelation of God? Or does it mean that the author of the Vedas is the prophet of God? One thing you should realize, that before the Quran was revealed, There were several other revelations that came on the face of the earth. By name, we know four. The Torah, the Zabur, the Injil, and the Furqan. The Furqan is the Quran. The Torah is the revelation which we believe, a Wahi, which was revealed to Musa alayhi salam. Moses may peace be upon him. A Zabur is the Wahi, is the revelation which was revealed to Dawud alayhi salam. David may peace be upon him. Injil is the Wahi, is the revelation revealed to Isa alayhi salam, Jesus may peace be upon him. And Furqan, that is the Quran, is the last and final revelation which was revealed to the last and final messenger Muhammad may peace be upon him. Before this, maybe many revelations were there which we do not know name of. Four, we surely know by name. Messengers in the Quran are mentioned 25 by name. Adam, Abraham, Moses, David, Solomon, Jesus, Muhammad may peace be upon them all. My name 25. In the hadith is we find 99 by name. But there were more than 1,20,000 prophets and messengers. As the Quran says, we have sent to every nation and a guide. Every nation we have sent a guide. The same way, there can be other scriptures also. Revealed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Not written by prophets, revealed by Allah. But if you ask me, if a few points coincide in the Bible and the Quran, can you say Bible is the word of God? If a few points coincide with the Vedas, can you say it's the word of God? No, you cannot say. You cannot say. If a few points are coinciding, what you can say, it can be from God, maybe it's not from God. Even if it's from God, you don't have to agree with it. It's not the, far, it's not the last and final revelation. The last revelation is the Quran. And Quran clearly states, In Surah Baqarah chapter number 2, verse number 106, we have substituted our signs with other signs which are similar or better. Even if a few things match the Quran, you can say maybe they are remnants of the word of God. For example, there are many things which in the Bible which match with the Quran. What we can say, that maybe the Bible contains, part, partly it contains the word of God. It may contain a few verses of the Injil, but we can't say the full Bible is the Word of God. Same way neither can we say the Veda is the Word of God. Maybe it contains a few revelations from God. Maybe, I'm not saying surely. Bible, I can say surely, few words of Injil, because the word Injil is mentioned in the Quran that it is the revelation of God. Regarding Veda, it's not mentioned in the Quran. So maybe it is. Even if it is, we don't have to bother. We have to believe in the last and final revelation of Allah, that's the Quran. Hope that answers the question.